Hello everyone. Today we are going to have a discussion on fiber technology. See, uh, what is fiber optics? Uh, mainly, uh, fiber optic cable is made up of uh, pure glass, which is as thin as human hair, and mainly they are used to carry the digital information over long and short distances. They usually arranged in bundles. Okay. So now we will have look towards its composition. Here you can see the diagram which shows the fiber optic cable and you can see clearly it is made up of three parts. First one is core, then it is surrounded by cladding which is again surrounded by outside shackle. So what is core? Core is nothing but a glass center from where light travels. The coating over the core as we have discussed it is a cladding and that cladding is made up of optical material that surrounds the core and that keeps the light inside the core which is reflected back all the way then at last there is a buffer coating that coating protects the fiber from damage and moisture uh, as we know that mainly fiber optic cable is used for the uh, uh, we are guiding the light and we have seen that it is mainly made up of core and cladding but one thing that need to be considered that index of refraction of the cladding is less than or should be less than the core this is the important thing in case of the fiber optic cable and mainly to have the propagation of light through the fiber optic cable we need to have some input that input may be in the form of light emitting diode or laser diode which are also known as source so basically the fiber optic cable works on the principle of total internal reflection what is total internal reflection total internal reflection is nothing but a phenomena in which there is successive reflection of sight inside the core surface and that can be achieved by inserting light which is or which should be equal to critical angle that is theta c and that's why we can get the uh, formula sin theta c is equal to n2 by n1 where n2 is the refractive index of the cladding and n1 is the refractive index of core so mainly this is the fiber optic communication system and here you can see there is one source after source the, it, it should have one optical transmitter so that whatever uh, input is there that should be converted into optical signals that optical signals can be transmitted through fiber optic cable and they are received at optical receiver from optical receiver whatever will be the signal that can be carried to destination and here you can see the advantages aspects of fiber optic cable they are less expensive they are thinner they can carry large data without degradation there will be no interference like our usual cables see fiber, copper cables and at the same time there will be no hazardous components from the side of fiber optic cable and most importantly they are highly flexible so that they can be used for medical, mechanical and various types of purposes. Here you can see the applications mainly in communications or in uh, TV systems and fiber optic interferometers, fiber optic cables are used. Okay, so thank you.